Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Will the Collector back here with another video review. What have I got for you today, folks? Always something special. This is Storm Collectibles 112th Action Series, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, Blue Fan, Bandai Namco exclusive, Mortal Kombat Sub Zero. Oh god, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna need a minute. That was a that was a lot of verbiage. Holy crapatola. Anyways, boys and girls, here is Mortal Kombat Sub Zero. Um I won this bad boy in a raffle. Um very happy that I did so because I had literally just got him for a sale uh from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I believe that sale had ended. Uh but when I went to go look for uh Mr. Uh, old Blueface here, uh the good ones were gone. They had the the more um maskless one, which I'm not a big fan of. I didn't like. If you like him, great. If that's the figure you've been waiting for your whole life, I apologize. He's just not mine. This one is. Or he's close. I mean, he's got the translucent arms. It's cool. He's got ice powers. I can dig it. Would I have wanted him more, um, you know, straight colored or, you know. And no, he's got the ice powers. It's just like having Iceman and having him half phasing. That, to me, that would have been cool. Anyways, here he is in his package. Uh, chock full of accessories. I mean, just full of accessories. He comes with bases. He comes with tons of stuff. A skeleton. Okay. Uh, here around again to the side the packaging I pull my camera back a little bit nice visage there come around to the back good lord you know you get a nice i'm gonna come kick your butt pose he's got his mask he's got ice blast uh let's see sub-zero fatality scorpion is the only for display images not included in the packaging well now i'm bummed anyways uh get some more posing the ice ground Sub-Zero, an assassin of Lin Ku clan. Kwai Liang commands the power of ice and cold. Unlike other members of his clan, he and his brother, Bi Han, were abducted as children by the Lin... If I'm screwing this up, for folks, I'm sorry. Lin Kui and trained in the techniques of assassination through their lives. Though his codename is Tundra, he has now assumed the mantle of Sub-Zero to honor his brother after Bihan's mysterious death. With the help of his fellow Leng, Leng Kwai Smoke, Sub-Zero Sub tirelessly hunts the one who killed his brother. Holy crap! Did Scorpion have a bio? Crap! Scorpion had a bio. Okay, I'm going to have to do that in and cut that into the other thing. And I complain about a bio, and I, I guess because I'm so used to not seeing a bio, I overlooked the bio. My apologies, boys and girls. Anyways, uh, again, Storm Collectibles, storm, stormco.com.hk, manufactured by Maskway Limited. Uh, Hi, studio co-developer, WB Games, NetherRealm. I believe who's making the Mortal Kombat series. Anyways, I'm going to pause this, and when we come back, I'm going to... Oh, here he is on the other side of the nice other action pose. I'm going to get this guy out of his plastic prison, and we're going to take a closer look. Be right back with you. And we're back, boys and girls. And I got to tell you, I'm a noob. I'm a noob because, you know, like I said, I, you know, you go through so many figures and stuff like that. You're not seeing bios. You are seeing bios. You're overlooking stuff. I didn't even grab the instruction sheets out for the other figure. Like, here we go. We got Scorpion and we got Sub-Zero. So, luckily I'm doing these things back to back. So, here he is out of his packaging. And there, there are just so many accessories. Holy Krakatola, they're like everywhere. As I try to make sense of how these things are going to go. I mean, there's just ice shards everywhere. And as I look through the instruction manual. Wow. That's a lot. It looks like these pop off. These might pop in. Man, that's a lot. Anyways, we're going to take a closer look at this guy. And man, out of the packaging, i got to say, again, he's cut such a great silhouette that I could not be happier with them. Um, again, I believe this is based off the Mortal Kombat 3 designs. Um, if I got that wrong, please don't crucify me. Um... But I'm pretty sure that that's what they are. Um, and again, this is the exclusive. So he's got some translucent plastic going on there. Which is, for a nice character, that's pretty cool. 
as a longtime collector, usually always has me worried just because translucent plastic has had the bad um, trend of being brittle. Um, I think I had like an all translucent Master Chief and that thing broke right out of the box. Then again, depends on who the manufacturer is. This seems pretty sturdy though, so we might be, we might be pretty good. Might be pretty good. But, got a nice look on the face there. He's got some nice blue eyes. Let me see. Okay. He's like an adjustable tripod more than this thing is. Actually, Got some blue eyes going on there. All right, focus. Focus. There we go. Let me see. Does this pop off? Yep, pops off just like something like this. Well, I mean, you know, you get it all molded the same. The same deal, you know. Good articulation, head moves forward and back. A little bit side, a little bit side, not, not too much. Uh, shoulders on butterfly joints. Bicep cuts. Very tight, very tight joints. Double jointed elbow. Could do a nice, you know, welcome to the gun show pose. And he's got a wrist ball joint with a uh, joint right there, pin joint, so it'll swivel all the way around. He's got a nice... Diaphragm cut, which, God, that's awesome. You know. And I believe it. Good waist. Eh, restricted. Restricted waist rotation. Just by how much all this plastic and stuff like that just kind of kind of binds it up. He, he's not going to be moving around too much for me. Again, other people might want to get him in more, you know, dynamic posing and stuff like that. He's going to be a little limited just for, just for the fact that he's got this, his... His crotch and waist piece is just this rubbery plastic and stuff like that. You you have benefits and you have hindrances from it. You have benefits from certain poses that you can do that you normally wouldn't do. Uh, you don't have to worry about the articulation through here, the cuts, messing up like the backside and stuff like that. But then again, it also does hinder certain poses. Uh, I, I don't know. If you're going to do a lot, I'd say kind of heat this up a little bit. You know, so you can get it in that great pose that you want and just know that once you like change it up after a couple months that stuff's going to be a little warped but you know legs can kick this far forward this far back got thigh swivel right there at the hip uh, it's got a double jointed knee pretty good that's pretty good and then ankle Looks like a ball with a pin and rocker. If I got that right. If I got that wrong, I'm sorry. And then toe cut. I wish, because my foot comes right up to here. And I wish it would just clear that a little bit because he kind of stands a little off. Not too much. Not too much. But just a little bit to the side. I set him back off over there. Again, very happy with that one. Good Lord, where do we start with the accessories? Well, he comes with the same exact hands, just more translucent than Scorpion did. So he's going to come with eight hands, plus one more. You see there, you got the more flat hand. You got more of the, you know, finger pointing, hey, I'm going to get you hand. He comes in package with two closed fists, and again, they're translucent. But he also comes with the Three Stooges eye poke hand with eyeballs flying off. So I guess, and this is going to go on his right hand, which again, these things pop off really nice. And just... Now keep in mind, the hands are soft. This uh, accessory piece is uh, a sturdier plastic, more of what probably the uh, biceps and the majority of the rest of the figure is made out of. Um, so just be mindful of that, that it is a little bit of a stiffer plastic. 
so it's not going to pop on and off rubbery, rubbery like the other stuff does. As I'm everything around here, get that lined up. And, yeah, oh, you know, <laughs> that's just funny. <laughs> I don't think I'm having them on the shelf like that, but that's hilarious. And he's got the, the eye poke going on there. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> but just to, ha just to have those two guys together, that is just. That is just awesome. When we were growing up, this was me. This was my brother, John. Um, I can, I'm, that's always going to be my brother right there. Um, just, you know, very cool to have both these characters and these visages. As cool as they look. And, look over the instruction sheet real quick. Uh, besides the hands, you also get a, a translucent skeleton... That's got ball rotation. And if you didn't have one of these, if you're a NECA collector and have any predators, you should have a ton of these. They're not translucent though, but this one is. So this is obviously he froze somebody and yanked it right out of him. You get another blood thing, a blood splatter. I think this is for stepping on somebody. Let me look. Yep. Yep. See? Stepping on somebody. Sidekicking somebody. So I really, what I really need to do, so my friend Joel makes blood effects, and I need to, I'm going to do a review of all of my buddy Joel's stuff. Um, he does blast effects, he does uh, ricochet effects, um, um, weapon blast, stuff like that. But he does a lot of blood splatters and stuff like that, and that's typically, you know, if you're doing the photography and uh, you got people laying down, very, very akin to this, just, you know, red blood you know, stuff. I don't have as much shelf space, so I can't have the the characters just laying down in pools of blood like other people would, but uh and to continue with the pieces, let's see, he's got this smaller piece here, which I'm trying to see. Is that just one regular piece? Or does this go on to... Alright, so... You've got this piece, which you've got, looks like... Certain way that these things are going to line up. Alright, so that's that. Well, that's not lining up at all. Now, this might benefit from some heat. I would say definitely heat this up and, and pop these things in. I might go do that real quick. Run down to my wife's hair dryer and heat this piece up and pop each one of these in. I might just go do that because even I think yep, this is a piece that's supposed to fit in there and they're just not doing it. Um, so I'll go heat this up, pop these pieces, because I don't plan on taking these out. That whether where I store that thing, that thing's going to be that way. And then you've got this, and these are keyed. Oh yeah, that's another accessory. So okay. Man, you want to talk about knocking out of the park with their accessories. Storm Collectibles is pulling no punches, boys and girls. Dang. Oh, I think there's one more. Wow, look at that. I mean, dang. Yep. And looks like you, you put... Uh, So yeah, you're going to do that hand and this hand. 
they are lined up for it. And I will have to get him in like that. But I'm going to pause this. I'm going to heat this up so I can get those pieces in there. We'll be right back. And we're back. And this was a pain. You really had to get this all heated up. Get these popped in there. Get them lined up. And then uh, these are keyed. A couple of these are only going to go into a certain way. So you definitely knew these were cut a certain way to where you definitely knew they were the only ones going into there but it looks pretty cool it looks really cool it's something i could definitely put with my ice man if i wanted to get him down off the shelf now with ice man though i want to do like a ice sled more than i want to do something like that oh and the blood effects <laughs> come off the fingers so if you wanted sub-zero just stand there going hey peace you know you could you could Let's see here. I want to try and get that one thing on here. Let's see. As I try to get his hands popped into the shield blast thing, I might have to. Ah, darn it. Yep. It's going to be weird. Pop his hands back on and then try to pop them into the ice thing. And his mask fell off. There we go. Ah. Might as well try to pull this onto camera as I do that. Just that right sweet spot of where this pops on. Come on. That's not the best way of looking at it, but dang, is that pretty cool, the fact that he comes that way. I mean, dang. You know, it should be more outwardly, sure. But that's still pretty, <laughs> that's still pretty awesome. You know, Scorpion's like, oh, crap. I'm going down. And I'm just going to set him off to the side. Pop this piece back off. Good Lord. And then. Again he comes with this. Ice blast. Where he's probably going to. As I assume shoot down at the ground. And pop up to other people. And that's what's going to happen. That's what he's going to have there. There we go. Set that off to the side. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. He doesn't come with uh, any type of um, other accessory like uh, Scorpion does. So I'm probably, you know, I'm going to keep his flat hands. I'm going to have him pose in such a way. So it looks like he's going to be projecting ice here at you. 
I'm more like this, especially if I've got a martial artist or ninja type character. They look like they're... This is the warning. Back off. Uh, right. Push the accessories off to the side. And bring in his Mezco counterparts, which has been on the shelf for many years. But again, um, I like the more, you know, like this is too noisy for me. This is just, you know, for what I want. I enjoyed the, you know, the ice weapons. You know, but I mean, this is just, this is so much other detail. This is more simplistic, and that's how I preferred uh, my versions of the character. Uh, again, here he is with that scorpion. Here he is with scorpion from the same company of Storm Collectibles. You know, which again, very happy and ecstatic to have this duo in my collection. Um... Pull him out. Yeah. Bring in another Mortal Kombat alum. Spawn. Which I don't know. I don't mind Spawn being bigger than him. You know. They're not going to be on the shelf together. Spawn's going to be on my Spawn shelf. But, you know, I don't mind them being big. Uh, you know. Spawn being bigger. Here he is with... NECA John Stewart. But you know, they 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 you know they scale pretty well together. That's not bad. Yeah. Take them off my recent acquisition. G.I. Joe Firefly. Which they do not scale well together at all. You know, I mean unless this you know, this is the sniveling little guy, and that's just a giant guy that hits the gym every day. So I try not to knock over my camera. Oh. But what do you think? I like him. It's definitely good for my collection. The accessories are awesome. Uh, even though, due to shelf space and stuff like that, he will most likely never have them. Um, I don't know if I get to a point where I've decided... You know what, I don't like all these other characters anymore, and I'm just going to pull everything off and just have static poses, you know. If not, they'll be in a storage bin, like anything, you know. But I am happy, again, to have these on the shelf. And if you come across one, which I think they are sold out everywhere, and you are wondering whether you should or whether you shouldn't, if you can, you should. I have been Will the Collector. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, this has been Storm Collectibles 112 Series, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, uh, Bandai, Bluefin, whatever, uh, Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero. And again, always uh, take care of one another, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.